Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today Cornelius and me are out in Royal Forest, in a place I've been in many times before. You maybe recognize it from previous videos. And uh, today I'm going to make uh, a delicious meal, cooked over the fire, and uh, yeah, enjoying myself out here together with Cornelius, and a little cup of coffee with my special thing, yeah. And uh, as the title indicates, I'm going to talk a little bit about the differences between uh, Viking nations uh, during the Viking Age and also after that. Uh, there's a little bit competition regarding uh, some of the um, things that happened in the, the Viking Age, so uh, I'll talk about that. But now I think I'll start by uh, preparing my food and uh, making my coffee. So yeah. yeah, and I hope you join us on this little adventure again, me and Cornelius, and uh, yeah. I use my uh, iron fireball, the one that you can win if you're a lucky winner in my giveaway.
This is perfect. I got some uh, natural fibers, some uh, some fibers from hemp. No, it's not for you, Cornelius. And then I'm going to make my fire today with my flint and steel and uh, some amadou. This one. Yes. Got it. See smoke is coming. I just have to blow it into this. Let's 
Gut, kann ich So delicious. And for you, Cornelius? And uh, while the coffee is, is being made, I'll talk about uh, the subject I uh, told you about in the beginning. Um, many of you, I think, uh, have their knowledge, much of their knowledge from the TV series um, Vikings. And it's a good series. I love watching it, uh, but it's not accurate in uh, many ways. Um, and you probably know that too. A little funny thing is, uh, 
the other day I heard a podcast and it was a Swedish podcast and uh, there they said that Ragnar Lokbuk uh, was Swedish, he was born in Sweden and uh, yeah, I also know that uh, Norwegians say that uh, Ragnar Lokbuk is a Norwegian uh, guy uh, but we all know that it is a Danish guy uh, that is Ragnar Lokbuk he was a Skjoldunger uh, and that means he was born as a direct sentence a uh, direct uh, line from Odin, they say. Uh, he's a legendary figure. There's no evidence that he has ever existed. Uh, but his, uh, his brother, Rollo, uh, is mentioned in the, uh, in the sagas. So he is a, a real person. And also uh, his uh, children, uh, Ivar the Boneless and Sigurd and so on, uh, they are all uh, characters or persons that have lived in the Viking Age. We know that, but there's no mention of Ragnar Lokbo. <clears throat> so there's a little bit different opinion about where he is uh, originally from. And uh, of course, we in Denmark say he's Danish. And if that's so true, you can um, count on my uh, knowledge and opinion. Um, so uh, we have a great honor in, in, in uh, saying he's a Danish Viking, even though he never existed, perhaps. So, yeah. But um, beside this, uh, in the Viking Age, uh, the people in, in, uh, in, in Scandinavia, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, they all take, talk the same language. But during the uh, uh, centuries, it evolved so uh, Norwegian and the Swedish and the Danish doesn't talk. Uh, exactly the same language, but we can understand each other. So there's a little bit difference in dialects, but um, mostly, uh, most time I can understand a Norwegian, what he's telling me, and he can understand me, and it's the same with the Swedes. So we are a brother, uh, uh, we are brothers here in, in the North, and uh, we are very proud of that. And I don't have anything bad to say about my uh, fellow, in Sweden and Norway. I love those people and I have traveled to these countries many times and I love uh, both countries. Also uh, Finland and Lapland, I've been there, but they were not uh, particularly active in the Viking Age, as far as I know. And um, yeah, in the Viking Age, uh, the Danes, uh, Danes Viking uh, were the most political uh, strong and they uh, conquered England and uh, part of France and uh, yeah, uh, they were very uh, keen on uh, settling in other countries. So that was their purpose, uh, beside raiding and so on, uh, plundering. And I'm sure it was the Danish uh, Vikings that uh, started the Viking Age in attacking uh, Lindisfarne in uh, 793. So uh, yeah, the Danes uh, had occupied England and they had something called Dane Law. Uh, that means that the Dane was ruling there most of England, not all England, but most of the Englands. And uh, yeah, Jorvik, uh, the town called York now, is a, a city that is uh, founded by the Vikings. The Norwegian Vikings, they uh, conquered Shetland and um, Shetland's islands and uh, islands. And they were very uh, adventurous, so they sailed out to the sea and uh, discovered Iceland and Greenland. And uh, yeah, uh, Erik the Reds and uh, we call him Life uh, the Happy, Life Eriksson. They uh, discovered, or he discovered, uh, Newfoundland and uh, America. Uh, you can all read about that in the, in the, in history books and see some videos about that. So they were very uh, anxious to come out and discover new territories. So they did that, and they, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, found uh, Iceland, and uh, a lot of uh, Norwegian Vikings settled there and uh, also in the, in the Greenland. Just a little thing, uh, many, much of the Viking Age, uh, uh, the Danes actually uh, ruled Norway. So uh, as a Dane, we say most of the Viking Age, the Norway and Norwegian were actually Danish, but it's not completely true, of course. But uh, uh, many of our kings ruled in, in Norway. And therefore, uh, at a point of time, it was the Danes that uh, occupied Greenland, and nowadays Dane, uh, uh, Greenland is a part of Denmark. So it has been for many centuries that. 
And then for the Swedes, uh, the Swedes uh, was good traders. Uh, they were a little bit different because they not they didn't uh, uh, raid or took uh, west. They took east down on the rivers to um, uh, Constantinople, uh, the old town that's uh, Istanbul now. Uh, down the river through uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia, Russia nowadays, and uh, that's uh, how they um, conquered the world in that way. And uh, yeah, and I think I have to put the coffee in now. That'll do, and then some salt I have here. And the salt uh, removes the bitterness from the coffee, those of you who doesn't know that. And I got a lot of new subscribers, so I'm sure many of you never seen uh, cooking coffee before, but I make it all the time, uh, my bushcraft and my Viking videos. And then there was the end of the Viking Age, and that was because the Vikings was made Christians uh, point of the time in the history. And uh, in, Dan in Denmark we have the Yelling Stone. I mentioned that in a previous video that says that uh, Harold Bluetooth make the uh, Danes Christian. And uh, that's true, and it's about uh, 960, I think. I can't remember it, but it took some years before the Danes was convinced that it was the right way to do it. Uh, but Harold Bluetooth was very wise. He made it uh, like uh, it was up to the people if they wanted to convert to Christianity or uh, stay in the pagan world. Uh, finally, they found out it was most, uh, uh, a privilege to be a Christian because when they were out trading with other people in the Europe, uh, it was much better they were Christian because then there were no fear of them. Uh, in Norway, it took longer uh, for the uh, Vikings, the Norwegian, to uh, be Christian. I think it's about 100 years later, and even later before the whole uh, country was Christian. And uh, their king, uh, I can't remember what his name is, but he was a very tough king, and he uh, tried to force the Christianity on the people. And then they rebelled and uh, said, we won't uh, be Christian. And then. Uh, therefore, it took a, a long time before uh, they uh, were convinced to be uh, um, part of the Christian uh, community. And up in Sweden, it was a little bit different. In Denmark, we had a, a, a king that was ruling all Denmark and some of Norway. And in Norway, they also have kings that was ruling a uh, large part of the country. But in Sweden, there was small kingdoms uh, very uh, late in the Viking Age. So there was no uh, unity in Sweden. And therefore the Christianity was a long way before the Swede was convinced that it was the right way. I read some place that it was in the 12th century before uh, the Swede was Christian. So that's a little bit a uh, funny story about that. It's almost cooking. So I uh, hope you find this little info about the uh, difference in the Viking nations. Interesting, and uh, I'm looking for Cornelius because he's run away. I can see him now. You got Cornelius? Yeah, he's coming now. My little Viking dog. Come here. Come here. Come on, Tifa. Come here. You got. You were got. The fine little snacker. See, you got. Come to. Yeah. Good dog. Good dog. He likes to be out here exploring. He's a real Viking dog. Perhaps he's Norwegian. I don't know. Nevertheless, yeah, a little something about the Viking, uh, I hope you find it interesting. And you can read a lot more about that in uh, history books and uh, watch YouTube videos about that subject. And uh, some of my new subscribers asked me about uh, why it's called Kimber. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can go into my website, uh, kimberbushcraft.com, and I have a little thing uh, called Kimber in the, in the menu. You can see I write. I wrote a, a little bit uh, about why I call myself uh, Kimber. Exactly because I live in an area that, uh, in the old days, very very long before Christ, was called Kimberland, and the Kimbers uh, was uh, a, a 
group of people that was awesome fighters and they grew uh, and they uh, went down uh, through Europe and actually together with some other people uh, conquered the, the uh, Roman legion and there's also a link for a video that explains it uh, very uh, thorough and I can recommend you to go in and watch that so now my coffee is almost cooking I have to be careful because when you make coffee this way it will boil over so uh, yeah, you can see now it's starting to boil. And it has to boil for a while, about a minute or so. And then it shall rest again. Yep. And actually when the foam is uh, gone from the surface, it is finished. And the trick with the with the salt, you can use it in all kind of coffees. Uh, if you think the coffee is bitter, too strong, put a little bit of salt in, and it will be smooth. Yeah, and nice to to taste. Just put it over here cool off must forget my beer Ooh. Er du her nærheden på det, Jus? Det var godt, du ligger bag far. Det var så flot. Det var godt, skal jeg. Jeg didn't saw he was laying behind me. Ja. Yes. Stay here. And you come here. On 
taste. Yeah. Perhaps. You like apples? Hmm? Yeah. Want a piece more? Good dog. I got uh, some meat from uh, my daughter and uh, my son-in-law this Christmas and I'll use it to celebrate my 100,000 subscribers and uh, all the new followers I've got here so yeah let's go everyone and thank you for joining us Mm. Mm. Very delicious. Skål and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft, Viking Heritage. Mm. 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 Thanks Trine or Asker for this gift. Yeah, and have you noticed my two new pendants here uh, from Lufok? This is Thor. Thor, I uh, made him, designed him, and now you can buy it in uh, my collection. Uh, watch my um, giveaway video, and I'll uh, talk about this. Those I also made uh, a fire. Uh, my daughter made it, so yeah. And this one is from Iris and Cohn. Yeah, it is awesome. It's made out of brass, a Thor hammer. I also got a small one that I have in my uh, keychain. I'm so grateful for this. It looks awesome. You can see it's very thick. Yeah. Thanks, Irish and Cohen, for this, and Philip Lufok for collaborating with me regarding these uh, pendants. Yeah. They're so cool. Yeah, next Sunday I'll have my big giveaway. The, I'll find the winners of the nine prizes, the nine donated gifts I have from my collaborators and something I made myself. So if you haven't seen my giveaway video uh, last Sunday, go in and check it out and uh, write in the comment section I'm in if you want a chance to win these prizes. I'm so grateful for my uh, collaborators that want to donate these things for me. Yeah, that means a lot to me. And also your kindness and uh, sweet uh, comments you always write me. Now I just want to sit here, enjoy this wonderful afternoon here in Wall Forest. 
des cas et des cannes ici. Non, on ne pas. Oh, on revient, on revient là. Yeah, folks, this is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Royal Forest, and then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care. It's better than his stealing my firewood. Good dog, Cornelius. Go hun. Ja, så dygtig.